welcome back to the channel everyone different video today tonight is aew double or nothing and i'm gonna go and watch that pay-per-view probably immediately after filming this video it's about 4 15 p.m my time and the pre-show starts at around 4 30 so i'm gonna pretty much finish this video start editing and render it as the show starts and go watch it but anyway Quick prediction video, this is wrestling predictions, if you're not a wrestling fan, probably won't want to watch this video, wait for the next one, I'll do more gaming content some other time. If this video does well, we could maybe do a watch along of the next pay-per-view, and I'll do, I'll just do wrestling commentary, color commentary for the matches, that might be fun. So if you want to see that, put that in the comments below. Anyway, we got the pre-show matches, Thunder Rosa versus Diana Perrazzo. I think Thunder Rosa needs a big win. She just returned. I know it's kind of, it, it's a hard situation with Deanna Perrazzo because she's already lost her past couple of feuds, but I still think Thunder Rosa needs a big win. I'm going to go with Thunder Rosa. After that, we have the Acclaimed versus Cage of Agony. This is also going to be on the pre-show. This is a trios match. I'm just going to go with the Acclaimed. I mean, you want to start the crowd off hot. They've kind of lost a bit of their magic lately. I mean, they're not as over as they were, but unless you're doing something with Cage of Agony, I'm still just gonna go with the Acclaimed. It's kind of a throwaway match for the pre-show. So now we're getting serious. We're on the main card, and we're doing Adam Copeland versus Malachi Black for the TNT Championship. I'm gonna go with Adam Copeland there. It sounds weird to say this, but they really want to establish Edge's title reign as one of their top, like, they want to establish him as one of their top guys, and I love Malachi Black, I, I actually love the House of Black, uh, I don't think it'll hurt him to lose to Adam Copeland, especially if it's a really hard match. If I'm wrong, it could be because they want to put the title, they want to put all the mid-card titles maybe on Will Ospreay, so... If they do that, the best option would be to be to have Malachi win, and then you can have uh, Osprey versus Malachi Black at the next pay-per-view, which that would be pretty cool to see. But I'm still going to go with Adam Copeland. Next, we have Roderick Strong versus Will Ospreay. Uh, again, this kind of goes against my better judgment, because it... I know that Will Ospreay is being built as the top guy right now, and, and seems like they want to put the world title on him, so a lot of people think it's a bad time for him to lose, but Roderick Strong's so entertaining. I don't want him to lose. I want Roderick Strong to win. I'm going to go with Roderick Strong. <laughs> Next, we have Trent Beretta versus Orange Cassidy. Uh... I'm going to go with Beretta on this one. I mean, he needs to win more than Cassidy. So, I mean, if they're going to get this heel character over, they could just give you the, the baby face wins, but that puts this to an end. And then it's kind of, it's just kind of a lame conclusion. So I would, I would rather have Beretta win in this feud, especially with the way they're talking about how Cassidy overshadowed their tag team. And that, and that's why he's got this big problem with them. So, you know, just makes sense to me. And then the Bang Bang Gang, so they, they aren't going with Bullet Club Gold anymore, versus Death Triangle. And this is Pac, Ray Phoenix, and Penta El Cerro. And I'm not even going to... Penta. They reformed uh, Death Triangle for the Trios Championship. I would have Death Triangle win. That's who I'm going with. They're completely over. They kind of had a short title reign. They kind of... The trios championships kind of lost their luster, mostly because of the way they've treated the, the Bang Bang Gang. But still, like Jay White has been kind of putting everybody over already. And uh, But I would still just go with uh, Death Triangle here. Pack, Phoenix, and Penta. That's who I think. I guess it would be a way to solidify the Bang Bang Gang if they want. That is such a terrible name. I don't know why they don't go with Bullet Club Gold, but never mind. Anyway, next we've got John Moxley versus Kanosuke Takeshita with Don Callis. And this isn't for the IWGP World Heavyweight Championship. This is just an eliminator match, which means he has to win and then he gets a championship match against him. I don't know why they didn't do this for the championship. I would pick Moxley. 
but simply because it's an eliminator match, I'm going to go with Takeshita. Next, we have Willow Nightingale versus Mercedes Monet. I think you got to go with Monet on this one. They signed her. She's kind of just been doing interviews and not have any matches. This is her debut match. You got to do something with her. I, I I think they're trying to get her over as a heel now because that's everybody's starting to boo her. Everyone was cheering her when she first came in. And yeah, she's definitely better as a heel. Uh, so I would go with Mercedes Monet via shenanigans of some sort. Like maybe she could hit her in the ankle with something. She, like Mercedes could hit Willow Nightingale in the ankle with a foreign object. And you know... Because that, that suits their feud, if you know. And then we've got the Elite versus Team AEW. Brian Danielson, Darby Allen, and FTR. I've got to go with the Elite on this one. Uh, Brian Danielson puts everybody over. Uh, <laughs> so does FTR. I mean, I mean you, could, you could go with uh, the happy ending, but, but I think that's what we're going to get in the main event. And in our second main event of the evening, we have Tony Storm versus Serena Deeb for the AEW Women's World Championship. I am going with Tony Storm on this one. She is now just so over as a babyface. I know they tried to make this character into a bad guy, but now the crowd is just cheering her like crazy. They've kind of reset it on the last episode where Serena Deeb was like the heel and she used the chair to put her in the submission hold. I think it's going to be a great match. You could go either way, but I'm going to go with Tony Storm just because I love Tony Storm. Swerve Strickland versus Christian Cage with Kale Switch and Nick Wayne, the whole patriarchy. Uh, as much as I love the patriarchy and Christian Cage... They're giving Swerve his moment to have a successful title defense and send the crowd home happy. I think Christian will try every trick in the book, but Swerve will just be too tough for him and win anyway. Yeah, that's what I'm going with. <laughs> I'm hoping it's going to be a really good show. Uh, this video probably will go up at the same time that the pre-show is starting or already airing. So you probably can't put your predictions in because the show might have already aired by the time you watch this. What we'll do is we'll see how many I got right, how many I got wrong. Also, you know, put your thoughts on where they're going based on what happens in the show. Thanks so much for watching this video. If this does well, I could definitely do a watch long next pay-per-view. I can also do WWE pay-per-views and do predictions if this video does well. Let me know if you'd like to see that. Thanks again for watching. I will see you guys in the next one.